Good morning, everybody. I, um, I'm in Nehemiah chapter 13 right now, so I just thought maybe I would just read it this morning. On the day that, <clears throat> on the day they read in the book of Moses in the audience of the people, and therein was found written, and the Ammonite and the Moabite should not come into the congregation of God forever. Because they met not the children of Israel with bread and with water, but hired Balaam against them, that he should curse them. Howbeit our God turned the curse into a blessing. <clears throat> now this right here is proof that God turned a curse into a blessings. So, if you feel like like, I know a lot of people that are like, I'm cursed, I'm done, I'm doomed to go to hell, I'm screwed, I'm not worthy. Just know that God can use your bad things and flip them around into a blessings. So, we're all worthy if we come to Jesus. We come to Jesus' feet and confess Him as our Lord and Savior, then... He can turn all of our wickedness, all of our curses into blessings. Now it came to pass, when they had heard the law, that they separated from Israel all the mixed multitude. And before this, Elisheb, the priest, having the oversight of the chamber of the house of our God, was allied <clears throat> unto Tobiah, Tobiah or something like that. And he had prepared for him a great chamber, where aforetime they laid the meat offerings, the frankincense, and the vessels, and the tithes of the corn, the new wine, <clears throat> and the oil, which was commanded to be given to the Levites, and the singers, and the porters, and the offerings of the priests. Now I want to stop right here, and I want to make a point that I feel like coming right into this, this time. That's why it's satanic to offer sacrifices in any sort of way to any God or God, because Jesus paid that price. He was the ultimate sacrifice. That's why he says he was the lamb, like Native Americans sacrifice to God, you know, and they did that overseas in the Middle East as well. The priest with frankincense, the priest did it in the temples, you know, Jesus, that's that's why it's satanic. That's why it's bad to do sacrifices. That's why it's satanic. Is because Jesus was our sacrifice. It's done. It's over. There are no more sacrifices. We don't need to sacrifice anymore. So when people sacrifice, that's why it's bad and satanic. Not only because are they worshiping Satan, but it's it, it's it's bad to sacrifice for any kind of God, good, bad, or indifferent, because that means that you don't believe in Jesus' sacrifice and what he did for us. You know what I mean? Like, that that's why it's evil to, to have sacrifice. I mean, I'm sure you, all of you know that. But, but <clears throat> in all this time, was not I at Jerusalem, for in the two and thirtieth year of our tech I'm sorry, these names are so... I can't pronounce them. Artaxerxes, Artaxerxes, king of Babylon, came I unto the king, and after certain days obtained I leave of the king. And I came to Jerusalem, and understood of the evil that Elish, Eliabib did to Tobah, and in preparing him a chamber in the courts of the house of God. And it grieved me sore, therefore I cast forth all the household stuff of Tobai out of the chamber. So he threw Tobai's stuff out. Then I, com uh, then I commanded, and they cleansed the chambers, and, there, and thither brought I again the vessels of the house of God with the meat offering and the frankincense. And I perceived that the portions of the Levites had not been given them, for the Levites and the singers that did the work were fled every one in, in his field. Then, then contended I with the rulers and said, 
Why is the why is the house of God forsaken? And I gathered them together and set them in their place. Then brought all Judah the tithe of the corn and the new wine and the oil unto the treasury. So it sounds like they're cleansing this 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 temple. Um, and I made treasures over the treasuries. Shelemai the priest of Zadok the scribe and of the Levites, Pedala, and next to them was Hanan, the son of Zakur, the son of Matana, Mataniha, for they were counted faithful, and their office was the distribute unto their brethren. Remember me, O oh my, <clears throat> remember me, O oh my God, concerning this. And wipe not out of my good deeds that I have done for the house of my God and for the offices thereof. In those days I saw in Judah some trending wine presses, treading wine presses on the Sabbath, and bringing in sheaves and lading asses, as also wine grapes and figs, and all manner of bur <clears throat> burdens which they brought into Jerusalem. On the Sabbath day, and I tested against them in the day wherein they sold victuals. I hope I said that right. There dwelt men of Tyre also therein, which brought fish and all manner of ware, and sold the Sabbath unto the children of Judah and in Jerusalem. Then I contended with the nobles of Judah and said unto them, What evil thing is this that they do? The Profane the Sabbath day, so basically they're they're working on the Sabbath. That's did did not your fathers thus, and did not our God bring all this evil upon us and upon this city? Yet ye bring more wrath upon Israel by profaning the Sabbath. And it came to pass that that so they're talking about wow they've brought all this evil upon us because they're doing all this crap and and on the Sabbath. And it came to pass that when the, the gates of Jerusalem began to be dark before the Sabbath, I commanded that the gates should be shut and charged that they should not be opened till after the Sabbath. And some of my servants set, so they, they shut the gates because they were like, oh my gosh, we don't want any more of this to happen. We better shut the gates now. <clears throat> so, and some of my servants set I at the gates, so he sent servants to the gates. That there should be, should no burden be brought in on the Sabbath day. Um, so the merchants and sellers of all kind were lo lodged without Jerusalem once or twice. Then I testified against them and said unto them, Why lodge ye about the wall? If you do, if you do so again, I will lay hands on you. So basically, this is your warning. You do it again, you're done. From that time forth, they they no more they didn't they didn't do that anymore on the Sabbath, and I can so yeah once he threatened them and said you're you're not to do this you do it again you're done, they said okay we're from that time forth no more on the Sabbath, and I commanded the Levites that they should cleanse themselves and that they should come and keep the gates to sanctify the Sabbath day. Remember me, O oh my God, concerning this also, and spare me according to the greatness of Thy mercy. In those days also saw I Jews that had married wives of Ashdod, of Ammon, and of Moab, and their children spake half in... Oh, this is the, the end of Nehemiah, sorry. Oh, the book of Esther. Okay. The book of Esther is really cool, too. I'll go into that next time. Sorry, I'm ADD, I swear. I get off track. I see a rabbit, and I'm like, rabbit! Okay. Okay. And, okay, verse 24. And their children spake half in the speech of Ashdod, and could not speak in the Jews' language, but according to the language of each people. And I contended with them, and cursed them, and smote certain of them, and plucked off their hair, and made them swear by God, saying, Ye shall not give your daughters unto their sons, nor take their daughters unto your sons or for yourselves. This right here says, swear by God that you not give your daughter, so don't let your daughter sleep with your sons. 
don't let your daughter sleep with your sons or don't sleep with your daughters. That's what that means. That's what I feel like that means when I read that. Did not Solomon, king of Israel, sin by these things? I guess Solomon must have did some of those things. Yet among many nations was there no king like him who was beloved of his God, and God made him king all over Israel. Nevertheless, even him did outlandish wounded uh, woman. Nevertheless, even him did outlandish woman cause to sin. So Solomon was a great king, but even he did these things. Even he did outlandish woman cause to sin. So he caused these women to sin as well because, I mean, I'm sure... See, this is why I feel sorry for women. Because a lot of these women, unless you were a queen or a princess, even if you were a queen or a princess, you still were treated like crap. But, I mean, if you were a concubine or you were just another wife... Oh, I feel so sorry for these women, like, for real. And one of the sons of... You know, like, I bet you just were happy, you know, like, you would just be happy just to be like, okay, at least my husband doesn't beat me, you know, <laughs> like, and, you know, and you have food and water, and that's, that's about all you can hope for, you know, because idolatry was just, I don't even know, I, I, I don't, I don't get the whole, don't, don't commit adultery, but these guys had, like, 50 million wives, you know, and I'm not trying to to be mean or, 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 or bash the Bible or bash anything. I'm just saying I don't get that. I don't get how a, idolatry... I mean, I like that idolatry is one of the, the Ten Commandments, thou shalt not commit adultery, because that, that saves us... <laughs> that saves us women and men, for that matter, you know, for a moral right that says, that says you shouldn't do that. But why did they do that? You know, and I know this is after the the law was written, the Ten Commandments. So, why are they still having all these wives? You know. But anyway, re remember them, oh my God, because they have defiled the priesthood and the covenant of the priesthood and of the Levites. Thus cleansed I them from all strangers and appointed the wards of the priests and the Levites, everyone in his business and for the wood offering at times appointed and for my first fruits remember me oh my god for good <clears throat> so it sounds like they're cleansing the temple they're trying to make sure they keep the sabbath blessed they're trying to make sure that they're not sleeping with their daughters and their sons are sleeping with their daughters um so that's what i got out of it and i also wanted to say What else was I going to say? I don't remember what I was going to say. Maybe it was something about Solomon. I don't remember what I was going to say. But 